Yo, what is up guys, DJ Double LK here, and again, bringing you another episode of my FIFA series, Would I Save Him for the Relegation? Uh, first, I'd like to apologise for the audio situation in the last video. Um, I'm hoping that this is a lot better. Uh, I had done a bit of a test run um, beforehand, so audio should be all good. Um, I'll try and monitor it throughout. But we're going to be jumping into our next game, which is uh, simulating against Manchester City, as we've not been picked to start a lineup again, not a surprise due to our player rating. So we're just going to send this match. And Man City uh, have had two wins and a draw as their recent fixtures. Hopefully we can come away with a draw or something. And it's definitely not a draw. So 5-0 uh, lost there to Man City. So we've now managed to get ourselves up to a 68 rated player. Um, I've gone up one overall since we started our career. As you can see there again, still bottom of the league, but again, it is early doors in the season. Uh, hopefully we can get out of our little hole that we're in at the moment, get a couple of wins on the board and get moving up the table. So moving into our next game, which is coming up, which is against Burnley. They are sitting 16th in the league at the moment. Uh, we have been picked in the squad uh, and actually in the starting line for today's game. This is a game that we really should be winning. Uh, Burnley are quite far down in the, in the table as well. So we want to be picking up three points from this game. Right, so let's go English get game. Burnley, or it's Burnley on Turf Moor. Again, Ray should be here on the three box. points to this game. Still pass needs to be played Well, real there. excitement here, I say that, because it is his long-awaited debut and coming up. What should we be looking for uh, from him, Lee? Barnes has got the ball, pass yeah, it to Rodriguez. Uh, we the get the ball out, we'll be able to play it out. Oh, that was a bit of a terrible touch there. Not let that affect us, we're going to chase the court down in the position. Morris is on the ball, he's probably going to try to kind of side across it in, which he does. And are we going to get this out? We're going to head it around and we're being headed in by Rodriguez. So it's a goal there to Burnley, uh, ninth minute of the well, game. See, uh, not a great start. Yeah, load of headers um, there. And nice bit in the bottom corner. But should be doing better here. 1 0 then. Out, oh, he's going to get Lennon. there. Lennon saving on the field there. Able to take him off the he's probably going to swing that in. And the pen should be getting there. Just over the crossbar for that header. Oh, it's a perfect cross, it's a perfect position. A and he just gets underneath it, over the bar. Can we get a free kick from here? Near the halfway line in the area. Um, the referee I'm left with little choice but to award the free bar. kick. Yeah, the well cleared away. And they're going to get that out very quickly. Just want to have not be going to counter attack here. Now Jordan Morris. And Morris is on the ball. I'm going to try and try this inside run. I should be able to. I thought I'd defend a little bit of challenging on Barnes the there. The Westwood now running to the byline and cross it in. And it appears the way to get in front of our defender there and hit it in the back of the net. So again, not a great start for us there. And it's now 2 0 to Burnley. Well, Derek, sometimes it's the cross that makes the goal, and this is it. Just look at that perfect cross on his head. Yeah, back able in the to net. get well and truly in front of the defender there and easily get a nice bit well, of a second into the goal for them here. Um, yeah, that should be coming right out with the ball there, but not really sound sound. But again, we've been able to get the ball back, passing it off in the midfield. Wendia. We've got a nice bit of passing Tete. play here. I think we can get this actually Wendia. up the field a bit more. So just passing around the midfield there, and then we get the defence set. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Might be able to produce from this position. I'm going to try and dink it over to Pookie. Uh, probably not the best of crosses. But Pookie's able to put it in the back of the net. And we do have a goal there. So it is now 2 1 uh, to Burnley. But nice uh, early goal there to get us back in contention for the game. 28th minute of the game. We can take another yeah. look so the cross sure wasn't too great, but I think they were able to get a nice quick header to Pookie there. He was able to beat the two defenders there to the ball, that. get in the bottom corner of the net. And it's now 2-1. Well, I don't like this kind of just Fretinho. passing it around the midfield a bit again. It's just waiting for an accident to happen. Ideally, if we can get it out of the field, we like play any risky passes. I say that, I'll probably play a risky pass one Flashage. or two. I hope we're going to get an inside ball. I'm going to run down the line, which is not... It might be on for them. And on the ball, Vlasic. Yeah, should go out for a corner. Yeah. Out of the cross so we do there. have a corner now. So after going down 2-0, we are getting in our, in our stride now. 
being able to get in their the box and nice header call, nice header from corner, but a bit too big and it's out for a goal kick. Uh, Ashley Barnes is going to try and go inside where we've got the cover. Played it out onto Lennon, onto Corp. Keeping the ball moving. Peters back to Corp. We're playing a lovely bit of passing football here. Oh, a fine and block. it's out. And so the whistle the end then. Of the first the half. Stage so, in this match. not too bad a half for us. Um, after going 2 0 down, a uh, nice and quick reply from us to get us back to 2 1. Uh, let's just have a look at the stats. And as you can see there, it's quite a neat, nice even game. Um, obviously Burnley have more shots on target and more shots on goal. But again, it's only 2-1, so we are still completely in this and hopefully it can get back to 2 all or at least go for the win. Very smart defending and now we and have the ball again. Easily gone through me and Pookie there. Crossed into uh, the penalty area. Again, it's ahead of by Rodriguez into the back of net. Our defender's not really able to stop these crosses or stop these headers um, going to the back of the net, so it's now 3 1 to Burnley. Well, here's the replay. I always tell young defenders to stop the cross, yeah. and this is why. Nice run from Rodriguez the there, until the back Our player kind of tripping or being pushed in the back, well, the again, not able to get up, from a different kind angle. of just tripped, and therefore not being able to jump up and challenge for the header. And it's at the back of the net for again 3 1. So there are. Might really be able to trouble them here. Now Peters. Lennon. A glorious chance. Oh, a truly and magnificent piece of goalkeeping there. Well, another cross into the court, um, the ball out the into our box. And Westwood with a header pretty much on the edge of the box. And it's a nice save. But and being able to get that much power into our header and nearly putting it in the back of there again is something that we've got to look out for. So the corner played into the box. Well, not quite. Bless is going to get there. I'm going to try run to him, get a nice lofty through ball if I'm able to bring that down. And I'm going to get tackled straight they away. Again, it's just our guy doesn't seem to have any pace at all. Any um, strength from the ball. Lennon. Getting forward. Electing to cross into the centre. And luckily, our defender there stopping Rodriguez from getting his hat trick. But again, we've got to be watching that. Um, oh, it's worth an effort. Well, I've been to that for a corner. Apparently, he's also gone for that for a goal kick. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Westwood. Barnes. Westwood. Barnes. Useful looking ball. I feel I've been getting there and being able to play for a throw in. So. Again, it's 3-1, we're in the 62nd minute, we need to try and get a goal back now, so it's going to be 3-2. And it's a free header there for Hendricks. Um, and again, don't know how he's able to get that into the back of the net. It's a free header, it's near the end of the box. Uh, sorry, I meant to have a replay. But I'm not really happy with this performance in this game, uh, if I'm going to be brutally honest. And kind of just been passed there, I'm going to get a foul, but... And they will be, be awarded a free far more simple pass there. A decent effort. From uh, the nice uh, nice the idea way. there and a nice header, but it's gone slightly wide or slightly over the crossbar. Can be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Piers are uh, easily able to take over defender. A chance to win it. Court. And Hendricks now pass it back to court. Now Peters. Now Peters and to pass. It's not going to get through. And luckily, our defender there stopping the retreat. So it'll be a corner. Well, Just over the crossbar with that header. And perfect. the header's so being put position. over. And he just gets underneath the over the bar. So it's going for a goal kick. Hot full of transfer rumours, but there does appear to be something behind this. Lee, what do you make of it? Well, Derek, there's nothing like a transfer rumour to live in a dressing room or push a spring in so the step of the players. Seems like players, especially if you hear he plays again, in your position. Get across him and header it towards well, look at that. goal. Burnley certainly nice enjoying the lion's share of possession, um, and all of their team are enjoying the performance. The middle, that's why they're winning, and that's why they're one of the best teams. Brown I'm not sure we're going to be able to do anything here because our player might lose Lee. out on it. And I'm going to get a foul and near the edge of the area. And I wonder what we're going to be going for here. Do we have a goal? 
and make a run in towards the pitch, right in towards the goal even, but it's put well over the crossbar, um, and that's the goal kick. Well. Sure. Going for a bit of a spectacular there, um, can't knock it, it's, may as well go for another consolation goal, um, near the 8th, 5th minute of the game, but it seems to be that we play our nice bit of passing football near the end of the game, he's going forward well play it off here. to Pukie if he can get there, and he's not, not too fussy to, so and clearing his lines. Will he play it in? Attending to his defensive chores. And that's an important intervention. We're going to get there again, stopping us in our tracks and be able to play it off round us. It's a weighted pass. Trying in that first time. So we do get a short target. We haven't fucked our minds like in the other game we in our debut that we were playing. Brown heading its target. So it looks like it's going to end 4-1 to Burnley here, and it certainly and is. Um, this wasn't a bad start, obviously going 2-0 down, we're getting back to 2-1. Uh, but Burnley just again running away with it, getting those crosses in, and our defenders not being able to handle the headers um, by their players. So we've done not too bad ourselves, but again, this is a team effort that we're trying to get here. Sales from relegation, and it's not going too well, actually not being able to pick up a single point as of yet in the league. So moving into our next game guys, it's going to be round three of the EFL Cup uh, against Sheffield United. Um, I know one of my good mates might end up watching this video and obviously wanting for a Sheffield United win. Um, but we've been picked in the starting lineup today. Um, not to jinx us, but I do hope that I get to score a goal. Um, but we shall see how it goes. Right, so here we go guys, moving into our game against Sheffield United in the EFL Cup. Not the Carabao Cup, and hopefully we can get a win here. Obviously our wins are ideally going to be more in the league, but as long as we can get into a good run of form and get a couple of wins on our belt, it should be all good there. Ron, um, I'll say that and I kind of jinx myself as I speak, as they're able to put it down onto the wing, cross in, and it's the head up, but it's gone just wide of the post there, so it's a dominant for a goal kick to us. Oh, no, it's gone out for a corner, sorry, shall I say. Corner kick played in. Oh, good save there on the line uh, by a defender there. And Fleck not able to touch it in field. So it's gone out for a throw to us. And get a chance in there, which I don't do. And, he's made and McBurney has fired and it into the back of the net for 1 0 Chef United. Uh, bit of a screamer of a goal just on the outside of the box. So I know my mate will be very happy with that. But again, it's getting caught on a counter straight in the open space. And not another one defender's being able to get there in time. And he's putting it back in there. See if we can get that infield. Let's try to pass it off. We can get it to Puki. Maybe play it one more. Plays off to me. I'm not comfortable shooting at the moment. But I'm going to try to get that. I try to dink it so I can get to Puki. Ah, uh, I'm able to get that out. Oh no, not for a throw in. But it is half time. It's 1 0 Sheffield United. Um, not a bad half, to be honest. Um, being able to put through a couple of chances of our own. But again, um, getting that early goal for them has kind of put us on the back foot. Not being able to have a shot on target, a shot at all, sorry, should I say. But uh, possession is halfway, literally split down the middle. And yeah, going to move on straight to the second half. If you can get that through to me, I'm try passing infield. But I'm totally sealed out there and being challenged. So now Sheffield and I again us on the counter attack again. Uh, this is a great run down the wing by them. I'm going to try and swing it in. Hopefully, I'll finally get to the time. But it's a good save by Mir. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Again, it's seeing me. I'm trying to kick the ball. This game just saying no. Um, and it's a header there by McBurney again. A swing from the uh, crossing from the wing, and again, a player not able to deal with the header in, in by McBurney for the second goal. Tetty. Alexander Tetty. Well, they keep working away. I don't know who he was trying to pass to there. 
but uh, being moving to our right and mid position now. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. We're probably going to be subbed off once the ball goes out of play. Um, did we even get there? No. Excellent refereeing. Advantage got the advantage. The pass through on the wing. They're going to cross it in, and it's going to be three 0 Goal by McGoldrick there. Um, again, not being able to deal with the headers. And it's now 3 0 Sheffield United, so it looks like we'll be going out of the uh, cup um, at this moment in time. Alright, hopefully our player can get there ahead of it, ahead of Baldock. Not Baldock, even. <laughs> Totally don't know, and totally get used to these players' names. Um, but it's been put through by Stevens, and best is just going to get there. And able to hit it in the near post. Um, yeah, again, this is going to be another big loss uh, for Norwich here. Against Sheffield United in the Cup, which means we'll be going out of the Cup, uh, which means we'll be able to focus on the league more. But again, it's not the kind of performances that we want to be putting in and straight to our manager. That is not going to, to plan at Martin, all. Martin, Williams. I'm going to try and get that on the wing. Uh, it's going to be a foul there. Illegal play, and hence... So, I've uh, been subbed off the pitch. So, we're going to simulate the rest of the game. And we'll see how it ended up. But from being 4 0 down with only three minutes left of the game, I can't see us coming back from that. So. I'm going to go over to season. I'm going to look at the calendar. And yep, so it was a 4 0 loss there. So, next game is against Crystal Palace, which we will sim up to. But I'm going to leave it there for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Um, let me know if you do want to see me take control of the whole team or stay with just controlling my player. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for what I can do to maybe make the team uh, perform more efficiently and get us some goals at least, then please do let me know in the comments below. But again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I shall see you guys soon. See you later.